get on Google Drive and then create a spreadsheet. Okay, so put your last name and I don't know, say actual volume. Okay. All right, all right, so this is how you're gonna do it. Now, it, this depends on the shape of your, um, your cross section. So if your cross section, let's pretend is a semicircle. So if you're thinking about the cross section as a semicircle, you're gonna have to use um, the, the area of a circle formula and half that to find the area of just a semicircle itself. And so, and then you get to multiply it by the thickness. So this is what you're gonna wanna do. Um, I like to, whenever I have a header, which I'm going to have, I'm gonna have a header, so I'm gonna drag this line down. So uh, you just grab that dark shaded thing right there and drag it, drag it down one, one row we only need one row for the header and then I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna label each column what uh, what they are so <clears throat> uh, just because I want my spreadsheet to do everything for me I'm gonna put diameter in here uh, and press tab then do radius and um, I'm gonna do area uh, let's say of face so it's of the face of the cross section and then right here, I'm gonna put thickness. And then here, I'm gonna put the volume. Okay, so these are all the parts to the formula that I need to find the, the volume of each cross section. So here's a picture of a cross section. The, the face is this part right here. Okay, we gotta find the area of that. That is kinda of like the area of the base for passive. Uh, volume formulas that you've done in the past and then right here is your thickness this is kind of like a, another um, a measurement like the height or something like that like remember guys doing um, a cylinder oof oh man I'm not doing well there okay so first you would find the area of the base that would be this guy down here and then you would multiply that by the height okay that's how you'd find the volume of that cylinder and so you do the same thing for every other shape you first if you want to find the volume you're gonna first find the area of the base in this case it's it's the face right? the, the thing that I uh, highlighted there and you have to multiply it by the height which is the thickness okay so I need um, I will get the diameter from my my base for the cross section so like if I have two functions like let's say I have a function like like we'll use uh, some trig functions oh well, that's kind of a trig function and then this one is gonna go like this okay so whatever we're pretending pretending these are our two trig functions right and um, my cross sections are going um, I'm gonna make them perpendicular so straight up and down so here's my cross section right here this is the diameter of this uh, semicircle right it'll be popping up right there or maybe it kind of look like that. Oh, that's a really good drawing. Good job. Dang. All right. So once you get this measurement, you know your diameter, then you can get your radius just by taking your diameter and halving it. Okay. Now that's, this is only if you have a semicircle, but you can have a different shape. All right. And that would mean there's a different uh, formula to find the area of the base. But all you got to do is find the area of the base and multiply it by the thickness. The thickness is right here. Okay, that's the whatever um, material for whatever material you're using. So here, let me show you what it looks like in the in the spreadsheet now. The diameter is a measurement that I'm just going to get from the shapes. Let's just say I got a measurement of 16 centimeters, whatever it is. Don't don't put anything else except for the number. My radius would be eight. Or what I can do uh, for my radius is I can say equals, and I'm going to sum. No, I'm sorry, not sum. I want a product open parenthesis, I want a product, uh, the cell right before it, and then you press comma uh, with 0.5. Because I know that um, the diameter is right here in that cell. Every number right here that I put in this cell is gonna be my diameter for each cross section. So that's gonna be right there. And then the 0.5 will half that number so that uh, my result will be uh, the radius. So if I press enter, Boom, you should see eight right there. Now, if I want this formula for this whole column, 
uh, for this whole column, what I have to do is I have to copy this. So Command C will copy. And then I'm going to select the B at the top of the column. And I'm going to say Command Paste, which is, or sorry, Control. It's Control C and Control V on a PC. On a Mac, it's Command C or Command V. Um, and I just uh, paste it, and it's going to go all the way down. Okay, so my for formula is in all of these now. Uh, it changed my first cell, which I didn't want. I want that to be radius, so I'm going to put radius back there. And now whatever I put right here, it's just going to half it, whatever it is. So I just measure, and then I, I, I enter the, the, the diameter, and then the radius is automatically found. Now I know that when I'm finding the area of a circle that the formula that I'm going to be using is um, 1 half pi r squared because pi r squared is the area of a whole circle and then I have to half it. So I need to have each of these um, numbers in, uh, in a, a formula for this column. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into the cell and I'm going to say equals and I'm doing a product um, if and I don't need to add anything here but if you guys have to add in your formula use the, the word sum and you can actually like let's say I had to sum these two cells right here I would select that cell comma that cell and then close parenthesis and then if I close the parenthesis, then say uh, comma 2, what this formula is going to do right here is it's going to sum these two cells right there, and then it's going to multiply, because it says product, it's going to multiply that sum by the 2. And so if I hit enter, it'll execute. And if you add these two, it would be 24. 24 times 2 is 48. So you see my formula works, but that's not my area formula. What I need to do is uh, see a product. I'm going to need to multiply 0.5 by 3.14. And I know that's an estimate, but I'm pretty sure um, I can't use the number pi in a spreadsheet. And then I'm going to have two radiuses. I'm going to go radius times radius and then I'm going to close that parenthesis and boom that is the area of the 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 face of the cross section so I'm going to copy this highlight the whole column paste it fix my title at the top that's going to be area of face and then um, I got to put the thickness in now the thickness is should be consistent so let's say I measure the thickness and it's point Let's pretend I'm using millimeters, 0.23 millimeters. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the 0 .3, 0 .23 uh, 0.23 and copy it. Highlight the column, paste it, uh, fix my header at its thickness. And now I have all the numbers I need to find the volume. To find the volume, I just have to multiply these two together. So I'm going to say equals product, and then I got to select the cells. The first cell, comma, and then I select the second cell, and then close the parenthesis, boom. Got my formula, copy it, highlight the column, paste it. Uh, now it's in everything. Uh, there you go. Now you'll notice um, these cells right here, there's <laughs> numbers in there, and I haven't even put anything in the diameter column. That's because of the way the, the spreadsheet sees the function. So even though this should just be no number, it's giving me a number. So you're just going to have to ignore that as you're going. And now that I have all my formulas in there, I just have to keep putting in uh, the diameters. So 10, 12, 13, 15, 18, and all my numbers are automatically being calculated. Then when I'm finished, I just need to highlight everything that I want printed. I hit File Print. Where'd the print button go? Oh, there it's the bottom. Uh, or control print and then over here on the the side it says what are you gonna print you can say print current sheet or you can say print selected cells which is what I did I selected cells that I wanted to print then you hit next and and actually print it alright I hope that video helps